In exercise 8B of uh, Getting to Know ArcGIS Desktop uh, 9.3, we will be looking at selecting features by attributes. And previously, we just um, got to know the different ways of selecting attributes. Now, we'll go into more detail on, on one specific way. And again, we'll be using the same uh, layer that we used in exercise 8A. So 8B begins on page 218 and it's a short exercise and in this exercise we will just be uh, looking at looking at um, selecting features by attributes. So go ahead and go to selection and select by attributes and you will uh, have a little selection tool and it's actually pretty pretty easy. We'll start off the first step um, just to find houses that uh, are for sale. And house, first make sure you have the right layer selected. You want the neighborhood parcels layer selected, not the streets. And you'll see that these are the different attribute fields um, of the different parcels. A house that's for sale has a status of yes. So go ahead and double click status. You'll see that now status is here located here on the bottom. Equal means is. And then click get unique values to see the different values of status. And we want status of yes. So make sure that uh, your query looks like this. Status is yes. And click apply. Now you see several selections. Uh, they're located in blue. These are not surprising because uh, by the symbology uh, the houses for sale are, are a light blue and not for sale is a gray. So not surprisingly, um, all of the for sale are now highlighted. And if you look in the bottom left, you see the number of features, number of houses is 36. 36 houses are for sale. Well, we want to narrow down our selection because 36 houses is a little bit too much to, um, to go and visit <laughs> in, in one day or even in a few days. So we'll narrow that down. For example, we want uh, to have a house with three bedrooms. So go ahead and uh, come back and click, double click bedrooms is again to get unique values and select three. So we want a house with three bedrooms. Make sure your query says status equals yes, bedrooms equals three and click apply. Oh. It seemed to have been an error. Uh, I found out what I did wrong. I forgot to click and. Ha! That's what it should look like. So status is yes, and bedrooms is three. Click apply. There we go. Now I did it correctly. Um, and our number of features is now down to 12. Uh, and you'll see now not all of the Houses are selected. Just um, some of some houses we've seen before. Some corner houses, also middle of terrace houses. Um, still, we th we still think 12 is a little bit too much to visit in one day or a couple days. So lastly, uh, we'll also select the the price again. So we click and. Oops, that's not true. Make sure you're on like that. Okay, and uh, let's see sale price. Uh, they setting a sale price. They want a house that costs less than, uh, and then make sure you have a space one seven five zero zero zero. So um, we're now looking for the status is yes, so it's for sale, and the bedrooms is three, and sale price is less than one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. Go ahead and click apply, and one house uh, went away. Now we're down to 11 houses, and that is possibly more manageable. Um, now we can note the different uh, addresses for these houses if you want, uh, and go and visit them. That's it for exercise 8B. Uh, if you'd like to go ahead and um, play around with this tool some more, uh, that's great. Otherwise, save your progress and move to exercise 8C.